For more on this, we bring in senior writer for Bloomberg Business Week, Peter Burroughs. So again, it's 99 cents. What other, what other costs are involved with this potential offering? Well, you got to own an iPhone or an iPad or an uh, iPod Touch, of which a new one will be uh, announced at an event probably next, early next month. Um, but that's pretty much it. You know, you can now on iTunes, you can either buy or rent movies. Until now, you've only had the option of buying TV shows. Now you'll be able to rent them for the, the cheaper 99 cent price. Rent them and you have a window of about 48 hours to watch your favorite television show from what I understand from what Chris Valeri was saying earlier. So the talks are with News Corp, right. with ABC, with CBS. What do they get out of this potential deal? Well, you know, it could be a big revenue stream. It's tens of millions of people who have these devices now and uh, you know that's growing very very rapidly uh, and Apple actually believes that that's th that there's a really big opportunity in mobile um, mobile TV you know so uh, there's a lot of people who if they miss their favorite show might just spend a buck and grab whatever that show might be well, you know whether uh, out doing their daily chores or whatever it might be. Right, so in talks right now still, but when you look at this and the power it could have, could this do to television what iTunes has done to the music industry? Well, you know, I, I don't know. I think this is just a rental model. I think even Apple uh, sees this as sort of another reason to buy an iPhone or an iPad or an, I, or an iPod Touch. Mm -hmm. um, not that it's going to revolutionize TV viewing. In fact, uh, last year they were trying to do something more radical. They were trying to come up with a subscription service where you could just subscribe to your favorite show and watch it however many times you want and whenever you want. Um, but the, uh, the TV studios wouldn't go for that. It was too, big a, too radical of a change. So this is kind of, they back, they're backing off of that more radical approach. They're saying, okay, well, what can we do? And you know they've tried this 99 cent thing before, right? It really, it really uh, revolutionized the music business um, when suddenly uh, every song was 99 cents. You know, before that there had been lots of ways to sort of get songs in digital form, but right. it was confusing. There was various pricing schemes. I think Apple's saying they can apply that simple pricing and their big marketing uh, muscle to this that uh, you know they can make it. Uh, meaningful. Got it. Maybe not gigantic, but meaningful. Peter Burroughs, thanks so much.